Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube land? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, last week we brought you an unboxing of Kingston's latest HyperX H2O memory. This is the new Kingston HyperX H2O. This is a set of water-cooled memory. Right now we're using a dual-channel kit that is actually two 2 gigabyte sticks. It's a 4 gigabyte kit. Follow along as we show you our new water-cooled test system and how cool this memory is actually running on our test system in a live test. Okay, Kingston's new KHX2000 CD9AD3W1K2 slash 4 gigabyte kit. Now, this is a new 4 gigabyte kit which consists of two pieces of DDR3 2000 megahertz memory. It also has a cast rate of CL9, it's 250 pin DIMM kit. This new kit supports Intel's new XMP Extreme Memory Profile. What this means is you can put the memory inside of your system and it has an automatic thing that sets your memory to how fast it's supposed to be. Like I said, the cast latency on this memory is 999, and these are 1.5 volt powered chips. Each of the 250 bins uses gold contact fingers and requires a 1.4 volt connection. Okay, so here we take a look at Kingston's latest KHX2000 HyperX H2O memory in action. As you can see, we've used Swiftex kit, and we've broken their half inch tubes down to quarter inch tubes to make for accommodations for cooling this memory. Right now, the memory is running at about two degrees hotter than the CPU itself. We're running at 78.6 Fahrenheit right now. Inside of my house, it's actually 76 degrees, so we're running about two degrees above ambient temperature at this moment. Now that's actually pretty good because the coolant is actually running to cool both of the CPU and the memory right now. This was actually a little bit difficult to get set up to breaking it down. If you use some uh, lower end you know, water cooling systems, they'll come with a quarter inch tubing, but most of the higher end water cooling systems that I see all come with half inch tubing. So you're probably gonna have to do this breakdown. But we're pretty impressive at 70.8, excuse me, 78.8 Fahrenheit. We're running at two degrees above ambient and that's pretty damn good.